I can't believe they gave us our own office. It's kind of crazy. You're not responding to the questions. Hello? You're different. What do you mean I'm different? You're different. I leave for like two days, I come back, and the red-haired goddess known as Lux comes back with blonde and pink hair. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't think that's true. By the way, I like the way that you've decorated your desk. Well, I figured, you know, you over at your desk, you're like, look at me and all my friends, and I am so popular, and I love people. I love food. So, <laughs> I'm like, oh. <laughs> what is that one? Oh, that over there? That's every candy bar known to man cut in half so you know what's on the inside fat guy go to. It's something like I should print that out wallet size and have on me at all times. So what I need to ask you is a very serious question. Okay. There was like 15 shows the past two weekends. Yeah, where were you? I Speaking have, of questions. I have things. I'm going through things. Mr. Tony Pacheco is too busy to come out to concerts. I got weddings. I'm trying to make lives be happy from the start with the parties. Well, you, you missed some really amazing shows, I gotta say. I'm sure I did. I'm sure they were fun. I'm sure they were a blast. You know me, I like concerts. I'm not that guy that hates going to shows. No, I that's actually true. enjoy myself. But there was a trailer with lots of beer and drinks and hot dogs. That's always the best. Where can I buy this trailer? I know, it was amazing. I don't know, but I did um, manage to exit the trailer and I went out and did a little bit of work. So it was kind of work. Okay. But also, there were awesome bands playing. You should have joined in. All right, it's Lux and I'm at Carnival of Madness 2013 and I'm gonna ask everybody, would you rather? Yes, I, I would. You would. Would you rather catch your parents having sex on the lawn <laughs> or have them catch you having sex on the lawn? I would rather them catch me having sex. Yeah, I'd rather have them catch us, yeah. Oh, dude, there is no doubt about it. I never, ever, after this moment, wanna ever think about Don and Deb doing anything dirty anywhere ever again. Lawn, their house, I don't care. If they caught me, could be worse. I catch them. Oh. Would you rather sit on the stage in a kiddie pool of dog poo or on the hottest day in the back of the amphitheater in a hot, hot, hot tub? I'd probably take the poo on stage. <laughs> Honestly. Damn, dude. Oh my God. Uh, I guess back row. I would hot back tub. row. Hot tub? Yeah, yeah, hot tub. Would you rather drink a beer that tastes like vomit? Or drink a vomit that tastes like beer. Vomit that tastes like beer. Oh, I go beer with beer that tastes like vomit. It's, it's beer. Like beer. I'm not no. At least you're gonna get. At least it's gonna taste good. Oh. <laughs> I mean, at least it tastes like beer. I'd rather drink a beer that tastes like vomit because at least with the beer, you get something out of it. You, you get a buzz out of it. So. Would you rather be trapped in the back of the bus, like in the back lounge? and the air conditioning smells like someone else's gnarly fart. <laughs> or be in the back of the bus with like your favorite rock star or a hot chick and you yourself have uncontrollable farts. Me have uncontrollable farts. I'll have uncontrollable farts. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's more expected from a guy. Like if you're with a hot babe, you're like, ugh. I would rather have the uncontrollable gas. I mean, everyone likes their own stench, you know what I mean? I can handle me. I don't know if I'd be able to handle her. I'd rather smell the fart. I don't want to be that girl. <laughs> <laughs> mm, would you rather have your parents catch you having sex on the lawn at a concert, or would you rather catch your parents having sex on the lawn at a concert? That's a no-brainer. Easily, it would be my parents catching me. Just because of the simple fact that like, I know that I'll never be able to look my mom in the face again, but I will never be able to look at my mom, period, if I catch her and good old John Patrico throwing bones at each other. Well, I mean, you know that's how you came to be. That's nope. like how the creation sure of the wonderful entity that is Sir Tony Patrico no, of I was PPT. created in a lab. When work. were you created? Wasn't it recently? I mean, I feel like I yeah, was you, the jerk who missed your birthday. You sure did. You missed it. So everybody knew but me. Uh, pretty much. I mean, did you much. Did you celebrate? Much. Actually, I did celebrate. Well, I mean, I celebrated. Celebrated. Hardcore. I celebrated. I had a great time. Yeah. But the coolest thing was, is my birthday, and I had no idea, is right like a few days away from National Cheeseburger Day. Why why you do that? Why what's wrong with that? I just it's just birth magic. Patrico, it's magic birth of a cheeseburger. That the two would be together. So let me guess. You celebrated with the burgers. We just focused on National Cheeseburger Day. Ow, ow. 
we got five of these. It's National Cheeseburger Day. What other <laughs> better way to celebrate than eating five of them? These are like birthday presents. Oh, Jesus. I wonder if I should dissect them. Should I take it, should I take it apart and eat it? Or should I just do, do the same technique? Hashtag burger problems. Who has burger problems? Besides a 330 pound fat dude with a beard. Mm. <laughs> See, I'm getting help from the crowd, which is great. I'll take advice all day, every day. The suggestion was to take a bite, take a drink. Take a bite, take a drink. Not a drink, a sip. This technique's not bad. I feel like I overfill my mouth. <laughs> you can't talk about this without being filthy. I feel like I overfill my mouth. There's just too much meat in my mouth. My, my teeth are mad at me. I got the meat sweats. I'm kind of shaking a little bit. Look at this is all I got left. I call that the Chun Li. Around Street Fighter when Chun Li kicked her leg and it went like a thousand miles an hour. What's up? Gone. What's up? I need a nap. And I need to be pried out of this booth. Does anybody have any butter? Stuck in the booth. Whoa. That was gross. No. But also kind of awesome. Delicious. Don't say gross. So I got I got a few like very serious questions. Hold up. Stretch it out. Okay. First of all, how long did that take you? Um, I was actually kind of upset. I wanted to do it quicker than I did, but in total, 10 minutes. So essentially two minutes of burger, which I guess is not terrible, but I have a reputation to uphold, and I think that was a little embarrassing. Whoa. And how many burgers? Uh, it was five third pound burgers. So with the bun, and it had some toppings on it. Overall in total, it was I think 2.2 pounds or something like that. Yeah, was, you, I'm it, sure you it, it felt was, like a stellar athlete afterwards. Were you ready to go run a marathon? Um, I actually went to training that day. Uh, I said I was going to cancel training with my personal trainer, um, but I decided that I know that I would have hated myself. My trainer would have hated me if I didn't go in. So I actually went in and I did training. And um, you know what? After the workout and everything and after letting the foods, I felt awful. It was, <laughs> it was real bad. I felt awful. If people want to follow you on Twitter, where do they do? Alex. Where, where do they do? What do they do? Alex1057. Alright, and if they want to follow me, they do what? At Patrico War. Okay. And if they But if wanna... they do, if they're gonna follow us and they're gonna and, and the crazy thing is with the at Lux1057, you can also get at Fandango1057, at yeah. War1057. Yeah. Um, at Riz1057. At Riz1057. At Ravels. R-A-V-E-L-S. At Ravels. People aren't always super nice when they tweet me or Facebook me or text us? Why? I never see bad texts. This text from the 314. Hey Patrico, good thing that that Taliban beard covers up most of your face. You fat fucking nightmare. I love my beard and I don't believe that I'm a nightmare. This is from the 314. Hey Lux, how many dicks did you suck to get your job? None. 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 None dicks. This text from the 314 says, Hey Donnie, why don't you bitch a little more and maybe someone will actually feel sorry for you. Oh wait, no they won't. No one gives a shit. How about this one for you, 314? Fuck your mother. From the 573, Wow, Patrico has to be the biggest waste of human flesh that I've ever seen. And that's a whole lot of flesh. Another fat joke, clever. Lux, it's a good thing you're pretty because your radio show sucks balls. It's radio, being pretty doesn't... This one is from uh, at Kevin Rudman 11 on the Twitter. They say, sometimes I turn my radio off and drive in silence because anything would be better than when you are on the radio. You would prefer hearing, like, say, animals having sex than me on the radio. That does make me feel pretty crummy about myself. I have to say that. Hey, Tubster McHuge Boobs. It's not my name, but uh, do all of us a favor and suffocate yourself with fried chicken and gravy covered mashed potatoes. Fuck you. Seriously, I love the show, but fuck you. It's two effins. 
It's just me. Hey, Lux. <laughs> no one gives a shit about your t-shirt of the day. Come on. Ridiculous. Hey, Donnie. You're a f People, we're humans too. We have feelings and make us sad and hurt our feelings. Because we have feelings, we're humans. How many and times do you make us say sad. feelings? It's just my feelings and I feel them because I do. But if you wanted to say nice things, you could do that at Lux1057, at Patrico War, at Bandango1057, at War1057, at Riz1057. Are you seeing a trend at Ravels? At 1057 The Point. Don't forget about that one either. At 1057 The Point also. Uh, stay classy.